In this video, I will walk you through the complete step-by-step -step process to opening a Stripe account if you're living in a non-listed country. So, if you're living in countries like Nigeria, India, Bangladesh, or other banned countries and you want to open a Stripe account, then stay glued to this video and I will show you every step of the way. If you're ready, then let's get started. I checked up on a few videos on YouTube to see what already exists about opening Stripe account for non-listed countries and I saw some people mentioning using methods like Estonia and some of those other methods. Well, all I can say about that is that you just want to be sure that you are following the right process so you don't get your account eventually banned and all your hard work go down the drain. Having said all that, to open a verified and authentic Stripe account, you will need to get following settled. Number one, you will need to register a legitimate business in the US and a proof of your business type. You will need your business details, of course. Number you will need the fulfillment details of your business. And number four, you will need public details of your business. And number five, a US bank account. So, I will walk you through how to get all of these details and registrations right here and now, even if you're not living in the US. You can do this from anywhere in the world. Please, before we start, it takes quite a hard work to put stuff like this together. Just encourage me by giving this video a like. And if you would love to see content that help you make money or promote whatever you do online as a business owner, then subscribe to this channel and turn on the alert notification. So, let's quickly go through the steps of opening a Stripe account from countries that are banned or are not listed on Stripe. To get a registered business name in the US, go to inkauthority.com. I have also left the link in the description below this video. Just look for a random business name and type it in here. I will go with my Circus Inc. You type in yours and click check availability. If perhaps your name has been registered by someone else, then go for another name. Just try and use a name you're sure would not have been registered by someone else. So you can see here, Congratulations, preliminary check indicate my Circus Inc. is available for registration. Please continue below. So come right here and you will see the registration wizard. In the first field, select limited liability company. Go ahead and pick out your preferred state. I will go with Colorado here. Save and continue. Here I will choose no and continue. Where will my Circus Inc. be open for business? I am already open for business. Save and continue. What kind of business do I want to register? I will go with say OK. I will go with writing service. Save and continue. Will my Circus Inc. be hiring employees in the first 12 months? No. Save and continue. Will my Circus Inc. be accepting credit card payments? No. Save and continue. It will bring us to a new page where we are required to provide our business details. Simply adding your business detail. Let me auto fill my detail here. So we have your name, your address, email address. When we get a phone number, we will need a US phone number here. So let me walk you through how to get a verified US real phone number. I will share two methods to get a verified US phone number. The first method is free and the second you will have to pay for it. You can then pick your preference from any of them. Okay, open a new browser and type in this link. The link is also in the description below this video. Simply, as you can see, there are various countries whose number you can generate. But here we want a US phone number. So click open here. And here is your USC number. So how do you access messages sent to this number? All you need to do is to scroll down. 
But do know that one major challenge with using the free number is that you will not be the only one with an access to this number. So you have to think twice before using it for certain sensitive purposes. But to assess your messages on this number, make sure you assess this number immediately you request to receive a message. So you come here and click update messages and your message should be on top. Though I really don't recommend the free US number for this particular process though, but if you like, you can use it. So let's go to the second method, which is a paid option and most preferred since only you will have access to this number. So how to generate US phone number by paying a token. So you want to go with a paid option for a US phone number, which is more secured. Then let me walk you through how to go about that. So go to your phone. I'm using an Android device, so I'll go with, so I'll go to Play Store. If you're on an iPhone, then you can open your, you can open your App Store also. So search for an app called Dingtone, install it, and then open this app. We will have to create an account on Dingtone, so click get started. For every permission request, click agree, allow, just keep allowing. It should select your country automatically, I mean your real country, and it will ask for your phone number. Type in your real phone number here. You will be prompted to sign up or, or if you like you can also sign up with your email account so click email and select your preferred email type in your name and click the continue tab up here Alright, once your sign up is successful, come here and click connect. Once you are here, it will give you this blue pop-up saying get your first phone number. Click the plus icon. Dingto will give you several options to use, but because it's a Stripe account we are opening, we we'll rather need an American phone number. So pick USA at the top here. I'll click the plus icon. What we want here is random number. So as you can see, it has generated a US phone number for me. Like I earlier said, this is not free. So if you want to pay yearly, then pick the first option. And if it is monthly, then choose the second option. So just click this get access to this number button. And here you can pay and get access. So now that we have a US phone generated number, let's go ahead with our registration. Come back here and type in your newly generated phone number and agree the terms and continue. So click save and continue. So here I'll be required to confirm all the details I just submitted. So I'll look through. Here I'm requested to describe my business, which I will do in a few words. Once I'm okay. I will come here and click yes to the send text message for my circles ink. Go ahead and click save and continue. Again, you will be requested to fill in a US address and it has to be a real address here. So let me show you how to go about getting a verified address in the US. Once again, open a new browser and type in shipito.com. I will also leave the link to that website in the description below this video. As you can see, 
Shipito is a parcel forwarding company. We will sign up with Shipito and then Shipito will generate a US address for us. So I will come here and click sign up. As you can see here, Shipito has different packages, but here the free package is good enough for us to complete our job here. So select the free option and fill in your details. Put in your real country. Then I will click create account to give you a prompt to check your email account for a confirmation message. So open your email account and check for the mail from Shipito. Open it and click the confirm email. Click activate account. Once again, log into Shipito account. Okay, here we are. The first thing to know is that Shipito has generated a US address for us. And then you can use this address to shop or complete an order on any website on the internet and they will notify you how your stuffs are faring. But for now, what we need is our US address. So scroll down here and you can see our address already generated for us. So copy this address, come back to Ink Authority and paste it in here. This address has also come with state your city your zip code as you can see here so i'll go ahead and fix them appropriately then click save and continue here you can either create an account or continue as guest. So let's continue as guest here and let me show you other requirements that you will need. You will need a registered agent service which as you can see here is free so you add it to the other for free. Now here is the employer identification number which is also called the tax ID. That is also a core requirement to get a Stripe account opened. So we had it to order here for $49. The next thing needed is the operating agreement. I will also add this to order for $89. You also need the legal document which also go for $99. This one is not so necessary so you can decline this order. Do I want this done for me in 24 hours? Yes, it's free, so why not? I will add it to order. Do I want a website design for me for online presence? No, I will decline this order. I will decline this one also. Standard support is fine by me. You will also need a bank account in the US, so I will go for it since it's free. But do know that if you have an active Payoneer account and you have received up to $50 in the account, then you would already have a USA bank account there. So if you do, you can use that detail instead of this one. So the option is yours to take. So I will click save and continue. So here is a summary of everything I have made an order for and you can see here that it costs $38. There are two payment methods you can choose from. You can use the credit card or the PayPal. You can make your choice of the two. 
I've seen people try to use other ways to reduce this cost online, but you have to be careful about them so you don't waste all your effort and money and still not be able to get an authentic Stripe account or even banned after you open one. So now, I suppose we now have all our requirements ready. The major aspect of our job is completed already. So let's go and create our Stripe account now that we have all our details. So open your browser and go to stripe.com. Click sign in, come here to where it says you don't have an account, sign up and click it. Put in your email address, your full name, leave the country as default which is the United States. Put in a strong password and click create account. Okay, it says my password must be up to 10 characters so let me comply. Go ahead and check your email inbox to verify your account. Verify account. Once again, it will take us here where it says fill out your business details to start accepting payments. Now, this is where all the documents you've been acquiring since will be needed. As you can see, you don't have to complete the whole process at a single time. Your progress will be saved until you're done with all your activations. So click Activate Payment. As you can see up here, every information requested for, we already have them and since we have already done the hard work, the actual process of opening Stripe account has become easy to do. So all you need to do here is to provide the information as requested and complete your Stripe account opening. So go ahead and open your Stripe account. Please, I know that more persons need this information. So help me promote its visibility by liking this video. If you need more make money online and marketing online information like this, then subscribe to this channel and turn on the alert notifications so you get to know when I release my next video. Thank you.